Fantastic Doggos in History, Episode 17. On December 19th, 2017, a devastating 7.1 earthquake struck Mexico City. I warn you, the footage I'm about to show you might be a little disturbing. Sorry, I put on the wrong tape. After the dust had settled, a team of specialists came in to search for survivors. Among them was a dog named Frida. Frida is a highly trained Labrador retriever in the Mexican Navy, and she uses her keen senses to find people buried in the rubble. Over her long career, she was credited for finding over 52 people and was deployed to the 2010 Haitian earthquake, the Guatemalan landslides in 2012, the Pemex Tower explosion in 2013, and the Guatemalan earthquake in 2016. Frida retired June 25, 2019, but she still trains other rescue dogs. Fantastic Doggos in History, Episode 18. I was doing some research on some historical presidential dogs when I came across an interesting story. The year is 1926, and this man, Calvin Coolidge, is president. It's Thanksgiving, and the White House receives an interesting package. Vinnie Joyce and Nita Yuma from Mississippi had sent them a raccoon as a present. And although it was fairly common to eat raccoon at the time, Calvin didn't have the stomach for it. He instead became rather smitten with the woodland creature and brought him into the White House as a pet. He named the raccoon Rebecca and gave her free reign of the house. His wife Grace also loved the raccoon and would indulge her with her favorite snacks, shrimp, persimmons, and even eggs. Rebecca was known to be quite mischievous. She would unscrew light bulbs and even dig up potted plants. She just looks a little dubious, don't you think? Nothing wrong here. <laughs> Grace even built Rebecca a treehouse and got her another trash panda named Reuben as a friend. Plot twist, Reuben ran away. At the end of his term, Rebecca was given to a zoological society. Her treehouse became occupied by a possum, who became known as Billy Possum. Fantastic Doggos in History, Episode 19. This has been one of the most requested videos, but before we get started, we have to travel back to 1200 AD. Our story concerns this man, Llewellyn the Great, who eventually came to rule the entirety of Wales. Llewellyn had a dog named Gellert, who is presumed to be similar to a modern-day Irish wolfhound. According to legend, he came home after a hunt to find his infant child missing. Seeing blood on Gellert's mouth, he assumed he attacked his child and killed the dog. He later found the child alive under the bed and a wolf dead next to him. Gellert was actually protecting the child. Llewellyn had a massive burial service for the dog, but its howls of sorrows are said to be heard across the land. The legend of Gellert has inspired countless tales and fables, even music, none so amazing this one I found on YouTube. Gellert, are you, lonely? you can still even visit the gravesite of Gellert, which is located in the town of Bedgellert, Wales. I think we need a little more music. Gellert, Fantastic Doggos in History, Episode 20. Oh, Esper's Snakey. Sorry about that. For today's episode, we're traveling to Quinlan, Texas. Christmas Eve 1992, David Hartwig is working on his friend's horses when he notices a litter of puppies in the barn. Having forgotten to buy his wife a gift, he asks if he can bring one of the puppies home with him. He names the dog Skidboot after these protective shoes horses wear during intense activities. The dog turns out to be smarter than he could have ever imagined. And he was capable of learning verbal commands with incredible ease. Wave your right hand. Wave your left hand. Now turn around. Take a hold. Wait! Turn the other way. Ease up on it. Now touch it. Skidboot quickly rose to fame. He was on Oprah twice, The Jay Leno Show, and even won $25,000 in a competition. Skidboot passed away in 2007, but his incredible intelligence continues to inspire millions. <laughs> 